Welcome to I'm Offended, <laughs> starring me, Arda Crandall, and me, Brad Crandall. We got the cameraman, Cam Crandall. Cam Crandall. Hey, Cam. How we doing today, guys? So, who's offended? Oh, man, who's not offended who's these not days, offended right? Who's not offended these days, man? Um, it's, it's, uh, oh, my gosh, dude. It's getting ridiculous out here. And more stories for us. Man. More stories for yeah. us, like uh, yeah. today on I'm Offended. <laughs> um, we got Hasbro toys that are uh, they're adding confusion with the potato head. Don't you offend me. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to offend anybody. So if I offend you, then that's probably also offensive to someone. Yeah. Fine. Anyway, we try to find the funny, right? Yeah, we do. So uh, Hasbro's are adding confusion, uh, consumers are saying, because uh, they want to everybody feel welcome in the potato head world. Uh, so... Yeah, as you know, they're creating this new potato head that is a non-gender and includes both a male and female parts for the potato head. And uh, I am happy to say that they're not killing off Mr. and Mr. Mrs. Potato Head. Uh, they're just going to keep those for the people that grew up, and, and moving forward, they're just going to be producing... You know the potato head instead well yeah i mean the thing is it's like you can name your potato head whatever you want really you know and it's just like you could pop the mustache on him or take it off what i mean do? it's honestly let's 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 put it down if you don't own a mr <laughs> or mrs potato head at this point in time you're getting two for the price of one Okay, nice. you're getting the non-gender potato head with both parts. You're getting Mr. and Mrs. in one package. That's a win. So. That's a consumer <laughs> win right That's there. That's a consumer win. That's exactly. discounts. So Yeah, I guess that. <laughs> or a loss because now you don't have to buy the female potato head to get the the dress. Or oh, whatever, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, so. the, company, the company is losing money on this. Know People are dress. buying just one and getting two for the price of one. Right, hey. Well, uh, good and luck. If, and if you really, really, really want to find a Mr. or Mrs. Potato Head, you still can. It's just they're going to be sold with a very small font on the Mr. or Mrs. Ah, I see. So I see. they're not trying okay. to lose all the money in the world. They're still trying to sell the inventory they have. I did hear, I think that uh, he was still being the Macy's Day Parade, I believe. I well, guess uh, I mean, that's the balloon, to be continued. Uh, if the balloon exists already, I doubt they'd want to spend the money buying a new one. They could just <laughs> put, um, like, a bow on his head or something, you know? Just kill, kill just you some know? Do something. Yeah, Do like something. what they did with uh, Pac-Man. They just put a little bow, and that was Mrs. Pac-Man. Boom. And that was worth thousands right? of dollars. Yeah, you know. Probably a million, because then they were like, you know... Uh, everybody had Pac-Man fever back then. Yeah, too. and then you get the female Pac-Man arcade. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Talk but, about uh, potatoes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Those are small potatoes. Yeah. More offensive news. Uh, did you hear about the snow artist in Winnipeg who was going around, um, f like sculpting sexualized um, snow? Things. I actually did not read about this one. Well, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, police are, were threatening, saying, hey, we have footage and blah, blah, blah. Like, please stop, you know. And, um, yeah, there's a picture of it right here. Uh, is, can uh, we show that? Is that censored? <laughs> it's just I mean, snow. It's just no, snow, right? Just yeah. resting his head. It's just an erotic cake. <laughs> you know, you just walk by the store. You acknowledge it. It exists. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's about well, the bird and the bees. Yeah. Well, I'm offended because dancing during weddings may have to stop. Okay? What? As the movie Footloose becomes real life in the state of New York. Uh, as they mandate dance zones... Making sure no one does not, or uh, excuse me, people are not switching partners while they're dancing. They're not forming conga lines. They have these different dance zones that people can dance in. So say goodbye to your grinding, your hopping, and, and whatever you're doing on that dance floor these days. We're going to sit and square dance. Uh, uh, yeah, keep, at a yeah. six foot distance though. At a six foot <laughs> distance, that's right. Gosh, isn't that the best part about weddings is cutting up the dance floor? I mean, yeah, if you're why not? You know, how about the the limbo? <laughs> well, it's 
Limbo is okay, I guess. Uh, as long as that and the pole, limbo is, six pole feet. is six feet. No, it has to be more than this. It has to be twelve feet now. Yeah, because right? you're if six it's in at a diagonal distance from yeah. the people going. So you so. gotta extend the pole. But uh, what else are you oh. offended at today, Brad? <laughs> oh man, I am just so offended with everything. Um, how about the mom? who uh, had an OnlyFans and her kids got expelled from a Catholic school because of it. Oh. Yeah, it's a uh, story. Is, I heard uh, she didn't even have, like, that provocative uh, of photos. Um, I mean, I can't, I, mean, I can't, I don't have the account, so I can't say. I mean, I think, <laughs> she's, a, I think she's a looker, but, uh, Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we so, show that photo? Is that all right? Yeah, cool, yeah. Cool. It's just um, yeah. She's definitely right. Crystal, I mean, aka oh Tiffany Poindexter, aka Crystal Jackson, who is also known as Mrs. Poindexter on her OnlyFans account, claimed by she was bullied. No, claims her kids were bullied by other students, and she was bullied by parents. And um, yeah, she she got her kids expelled apparently because she's the hot mom and. That's not okay these days. People are offended by that. But she was making up to 150k a month for That's her own. That's how much payment. private school costs. I mean, hey, private school's not cheap. They call it private school for a reason, right? Uh, yeah, Don't right. Know. yeah. So. No, they don't. They don't. Do yeah. <laughs> then another thing that's offensive is that the new Space Jam um, movie. Mixed up uh, the character of Bugs Bunny's uh, girlfriend. Was that Lola Bunny something? L Lola? And, uh, yeah, they totally changed her, as you can see. And uh, Yeah, it's just, I mean, yeah, it's that's cut and dry right there. Uh -huh. I don't know. I mean, like, it's, you got, kind of got offended. I got offended when they redid Scooby-Doo, you know? Oh, me too. And everybody got a that. facelift, and it's like, no, I want the original Scooby. <laughs> Same with the Ninja I Turtles. I want Shaggy voiced by one person and one person only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm know? offended. I'm offended. You're dude. offended. I'm offended. So, um, we do uh, we do have a non-offensive story here because we can't be offended the whole time. I do. <laughs> we got um. So they are now. It's a question of other people are offended, but um, <laughs> are transgender people dominating too much in sports? And um, so recently there's been a transgender fighter who broke a woman's skull in the MMA ring, uh, has been called, and they've also been called the bravest athlete in history uh, afterwards by said Ziegler and the co-founder of Outsports at an LGBT uh, focused site. It's, um, it's, uh, it's uh, Fallon Fox is the MMA fighter who breaks skulls in the ring. Um, and anybody that condemns Fox is a transphobic bigot. Well, Fox <laughs> is the only transgender fighter in MMA history. Um, they are they are 45 years old at at a height of five seven, weighing 143 pounds. So um, they just they're wondering, you know, it's just. Are we, you know, going, is it too much right now? Or, or is everybody? Uh, another one um, of note is uh, athlete Gabriel Ludwig, uh, born as Robert John Ludwig, played uh, college basketball for the uh, San Francisco Rams. Ludwig is 50 years old and stands out at 6 feet 8 inches tall. Uh, this is going back a few years in 2014, but... It uh, it's it does seem kind of slightly unfair, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, but you gotta be careful because you could be offending people even on that. We so, could be offending people right? actually just reporting on that story. I'm sure people were probably offended by our last shows if that's the case. But you know what? We're actually nice people. So yeah, we're we're not bad people. From that's, the old school. That's what I pay people to tell. Right, yeah. yeah. So that. speaking of, um, did you hear about cuttlefish, aka cephalopods? Um, they can pass a marshmallow test, which is uh, actually pretty impressive. What, it's, is, um, what is that? All right, let me let me read the article here. Sea creatures appear to be capable of performing calculations that are more complicated than simply more food is better. So it's like. 
if they wait, they can get two marshmallows or just get oh, one. You know okay, what I mean? That'll, so they're that'll, actually that'll, pretty uh, intelligent. Um, they'll actually choose the single shrimp when they have learned through experience that they are rewarded for this choice. Hold on. More food is better. Presented with the choice between one shrimp or two, they will actually choose a single shrimp when they have learned through experience that they are rewarded. While the braininess of their octopus cousins get a lot of attention, researchers who study animal cognition have uncovered surprising talents in cuttlefish over the years. For instance, cephalopods will hunt fewer crabs during the day if they learn that shrimp, their preferred food, is predictably available during the night. So... They're smart. They're, They're smart. Wicked smart. Yeah. Kind of cool. Hey, but I mean, I guess someone could be offended by that as well. <laughs> Everything's offensive. As a matter of fact, I'm offended. <laughs> I, I'm just offended in general. But uh, we got another Florida news going on here. Uh, oh, Florida? Yeah, Cam. What do you What do you know in Florida? Time in about Florida. What do you got for Florida, Cam? Well, uh. I believe it was back in February or something, but a hacker actually tried to uh, poison the whole city of Oldsmar, I believe. Oldsmar, and, uh, Florida, yeah. They tried to add more sodium hydroxide, otherwise known as lye, and uh, I think uh, that it's also a, a key ingredient in household cleaners, such as, like, drain uh, cl uh, clog removers. Drain, uh, yeah. And, uh... If I recall correctly, the guy tried to hack it, and a safe amount is 100 parts per million, and he tried to add 11,000 parts per million. That's crazy. Uh, so that's just some Florida <laughs> craziness. Well, you know what lie does. Well, hey, I like a Florida, so I'm offended by that. Yeah, you know, I'm I mean, thinking about moving there actually. Well, it's real. Yeah, there you go. It's, yeah. I mean, it's sunny. It's sunny. Uh, it's not cold. It's, it's not. It's not that bad. And you just got crazy people that are always making the news. You don't have to make up news because you got it's Florida. Happening. You open up your window. You take a look out. You're good. <laughs> All right. So speaking of that. Um, you hear about the seven one star? Sh not speak about that at all. Actually. Hold on, let's stop. I, so I'm, I'm still edit. going in Florida here. Oh, yeah. Let's cut back to me. Well, speaking of Florida, Cam, a 23 year old Joshua James from Jupiter, Florida, uh, maybe from another planet, um, or just a typical Floridian, uh, he was arrested for tossing a live alligator into a Wendy's drive-through window. Uh, I gotta say, that's quite the tip to give, because um, he is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and uh, illegally capturing a gator. So um, next time you get your food out your window, just just be prepared. There might be co something coming in. I know. Huh? These people. I don't know if it was a prank or what, but... Uh... Yeah, I mean, Dude, assault got, with a he, deadly weapon. You got a deadly weapon charge for that. Like, so I hope it was worth it. That guy really must have been offended by yeah. Wendy's tragedy. Oh, my gosh. They must have given bad service. Take that, Wendy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did you hear about I have some non offensive stuff right now. I mean, because that was a little offensive. Yeah. Uh, it's not, I mean, we got to keep it a level of offensive. Yeah. So, did you hear about the 7-1? Uh, basketball player Chet Holmgren is an American basketball player who attends Minnehaha, <laughs> Minnehaha Academy in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Comes as his five-star recruit and one of the highest ranked players in 2021. He stands, yeah, 7'1". He's 18 years old. He weighs 195. This kid can hit threes and stuff and uh, got, block and everything else. That's he's, nuts. He's pretty that's insane. Seen the video of that kid? Yeah, he's just like he's, he's huge. He's huge. He just he doesn't even try. That poor team he was playing, you know, because all the whole footage of him was just dunking and dunking and just setting up and you know what? That's, <laughs> he even hit a three. It's a little point. offensive, man. It's a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A he, little should, bit. he might want to pass more because he's uh, just should he be held to different standards? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he's coming in here as like a Seven foot, you know, it's all kid. It's crazy time, crazy. Oh, man, absolutely offensive. But uh, you know, let's let's talk about some stupid news, right? Well, let me interrupt because I just got an urgent message uh -oh. that Mike from Dover is not gonna call today because he's offended. That's oh my god. Oh, oh Mike from Dover. 
He's a. You know, we were trying to not affect. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe maybe we're in in luck because it's not it's not. He a mic probably call. had nothing nice to say. Yeah, we probably had to omit him after all yeah. the topics that we covered today. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably for the best. All right, so but uh, we got a, a stupid robber, uh, crazy stupid robbers. You know, he pulls down his mask, exposing his face while he told the bank clerk, "This is a stick up in a bank in Mississippi." I I just I just you can't make this stuff up. I, no, just so I'm clear, you know. <laughs> this is a stick up. This is a stick up. What'd you say? This no, I didn't. I didn't know from the gun in your hand or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, all right. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Is that, are you sure that wasn't Florida? <laughs> That's probably in Florida. It's, a Florida man went to Mississippi to rob a bank. That's probably where it is. Uh, you know what's great news actually. Um, John Daly, you know him, the golfer, who's, who's quite, uh, quite the presence. He always smokes and drinks beer or whatever. Yep. But some people were playing mini golf and was like, hey, I bet you can't. I bet you 100 bucks you can't hit this putt. He comes in, cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> I think he actually did that with one hand, actually. One hand. Yeah, one yeah, hand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Still got it. It's like, yo, <laughs> you, you don't think I can read it? Like, Give me my $100. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't think uh, I've put, you know, before? Man, oh I can God. read a green 90 yards out. You think I can't get this miniature golf right. course up in there? There's <laughs> also a video of him hitting a uh, hole in one um, with no shoes on. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. He golfs, apparently. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. John Daly just made a hole in one and I got it yes. on video. Yes! Yes! yes. Hey, you know what the best part about it? I think it's 11 of them, brother. Spectacular. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a legend of himself because I saw uh, him take a, a nice shot with an iron and uh, he had no shirt on and he still adjusted his sleeve. <laughs> what, what is he doing? It's uh, uh, I bet you it was habit. He was like, all right, let's make sure there's nothing in the way here. Just tugging at his skin. Oh, God. <laughs> I got something else that someone will be offended by. Oh, man, I'm offended. Shit, dude, I have this video. You guys got to see this, okay? It's this man that appears to be drinking gasoline in Brazil. Did you see that guy? No, I didn't oh, see Oh, my this. gosh. Oh, man, good idea. So, hey, for the record, do not drink gasoline. It's I wonder, I wonder if it was cheap or something. Like, it's, I mean, what was the price per gallon down there? You know, you got to think. <laughs> Is it still cheaper than buying an energy drink? I mean, the guy didn't <laughs> look that healthy looking at that video. It probably mm. wasn't in the right state of mind, either. Yeah. <laughs> eesh, eesh. Guys, just don't drink gas. Yeah, uh, exactly. Guys and gals and everybody. Uh-huh. Don't want to offend anybody. More offensive news. Do you have, do you have some issues? I've got just... some non-offensive news. Let's oh. switch it up. Um, All I have is offensive stuff. <laughs> well, then, uh, all right, what do we got? Um, Offend me some more. So, Kim Kardashian and Kanye apparently broke up. I mean, I'm not a big gossiper, but, you know, their marriage uh, didn't last. And uh, I was very offended by that because I uh, thought they were going to last, you yeah. know. But anyways, her hairstylist took a picture of her, passed out on the chair, and... Uh, it was kind of funny. She was pretty offended by that, actually. Very yeah. offended by that. I heard that she might be pressing charges against the hairstylist. Yeah, uh -huh. You uh -huh. know, it's 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 the shame that you know her and and Kanye broke up because you gotta you gotta get that love locked down. I mean that is I mean that is a little <laughs> more. I know that was good. That was good. Um, yeah, I mean that was a little more offensive than I would expect. Cause I mean, if you were passed out and you had like neurotic like she does and looked like well, you know, she already paid or she got paid by like some media company to for that shot. You know, she probably got a million dollars for that. Like, you know what? I'm just a day-to-day -day hairstylist. 
Mm -hmm. A million buck opportunity comes like that. You're yeah. darn right I'm snapping that <laughs> shot. You know? It's, doesn't matter so who what? you are. Oh, we're, I, you, that I'm, not her, getting I'm taken. not her hairstylist anymore. Oh, man, that stinks. Oh, I'm going to no, take my right? million bucks and go elsewhere. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the rights to that photo, by the way. We're just using it. Yeah, yeah. that's all good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's already leaked, so we're, we're fine. Yeah, it's, yeah true. That's true. <laughs> Um, well, I got some uh, some interesting news. Uh, women that worked at the same restaurant find out that they're uh, biological sisters. So a pair of women who became close friends while working at the same restaurant discovered years later they were biological sisters. Cassandra Madison and Julia Tanetti said they met in 2013 when they were both working at the Russian Lady restaurant in New Haven. Uh, the women said they quickly became friends and bonded over having Dominican Republic tattoos and being adopted. Madison and Tanetti said they suspected they might be related, but information from Tanetti's adoption paperwork, which they discovered later was erroneous, uh, made a biological connection between the two seem impossible. So Madison said she reconnected with the biological family two years ago and only recently learned from her father that the family had another daughter who was put up for adoption. A DNA test in this past February proved that Madison and Tanetti were sisters. The women said they now know they have seven other siblings who were raised by their birth parents. So um, <clears throat> I feel like there should be a... Uh, uh, you know, kind of contraceptive um, advertisement right now. Just the apple doesn't <laughs> fall far from the tree, huh? Like, look at that. Like, um, they both had Dominican tattoos and, like, didn't even know each other. I had really. no clue. No they clue. They were sisters. And then just they took working at the same restaurant, and hmm. sure enough, it's like, hey, you kind of do look like me. And so yes, those best friends did look like each other. Right. So, um... I actually have a non-offensive story, believe it or not. Get out of town. So, uh, I'm offended. Really, uh, someone's going to be offended by this. <laughs> um, a man with a machete tattoo on his face is accused of a machete attack. Oh, no. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Uh, the odds of that <laughs> must have been pretty high, actually. Uh, uh, I know. See this guy? Oh, this, my oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah this, make this stuff up, you know? Yeah, be like, he looks like a guy that would just... Like, he had a machete tattooed on his face. Like, uh, oh, there he, yeah, there he is. There he is, yeah. Oh, we found him. We oh, found him. There he was. Yeah, he was. Who's like that, uh, what was it, that person that had like a murder tattoo or something that ended up like trying to assault someone or us? I don't know. These machete things are getting too far. There's a sharp <laughs> comment there, Brad. So, uh, hey, we'll continue on the puns. I'm offended. Good. <laughs> I'm glad you're offended. I'm glad you're offended. Dad jokes are offensive. Right. Um, so what I'm not offended by is like winning the lottery. And someone out there in Britain uh, hasn't claimed their winning ticket. And they need to take action. And they are taking action because the British National Lottery is using a new beer to find the winner of an unclaimed jackpot. Whoa. Britain's National Lottery teamed with a brewery to create a beer called Just the Ticket in the hopes of finding the winner of an unclaimed jackpot worth nearly $1.4 million. That's U.S. The lottery officials reached out to the brewery Backyard Brewhouse, based in Walsall, England, to produce 100 bottles of the Blonde Ale to find the winner of a $1.39 million euro millions millionaire maker jackpot before the ticket expires on march 17th mm. so this person has to come forward yeah no. they're, they're making the beer to do it well like I, in the guy's defense or girl's defense or zay or zay I, i'm not trying to offend anybody <laughs> you I'm know? Offended. Yeah, I know. how dare you assume their gender but anyways <laughs> I'm not assuming they're gender, okay? I'm just saying, sometimes when I buy a lot a ticket, like, I see that I, I like, don't even know where it went, you know? I'm yeah. just like, oh, you know? Uh, it just gets lost in the car trash or, or something. It's normally on the fridge. So, yeah, I got one more, too. One more, one more and then story. I think we got to wrap it up here. Okay. We're people, offending too many yeah, people. Yeah, I know. People. <laughs> <laughs> we got to uh, stop sorry, this my, offensive so, show. 
Yeah, health officials are pushing to change the term breast milk to chest milk to be more inclusive because people were offended by that as well. I'm offended that they're offended. I'm me too. Does that mean that I'm not offended because it's a double negative? Yeah. Is that offensive? I'm offended by you. Are you offensive? Are you offended by negatives? So am I. Gosh. This has been a great show of I'm offended. Hey, just for the <laughs> record, uh, I'm sorry if we offended you. <laughs> we are. We're uh, sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> Guys, uh, on this offensive show, you know, we got to end it somewhere. Let's wrap up the offensiveness. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk about a hairy story instead. This will be the last story. Uh, and a woman in Anchorage, Alaska has the scare of a lifetime as a bear attacked her while using an outhouse. Her name is Shannon Stevens, and her brother Eric heard her sister scream outside because something bit her butt. (laughs) Something bit her in the butt? Something bit her butt. Eric opened the toilet seat to see the bear, and uh, the face was looking right at him. The bear did not get away, and Shan escaped, or he did get away, and Shan escaped with a minor wound, which she'll never forget. Well, the bear was clearly offended by getting, uh... She was offended, the bear like, was offended by the smell of the outhouse, you know? You know? I mean, what are you doing outside now? <laughs> I'd be offended if I got, like, uh, defecated on, right? I know. Come on. Well, that's, that's silly, and that ends this silly show. I'm Mark Crandall. I'm Brad Crandall, cameraman Cam, Cam Crandall, Crandall, Crandall Cam. thank you. We'll see you uh, next episode. Absolutely.